What's up guys? Another uh, video going. Uh, just got the old uh, hood taken off on the tractor. And we're going to see if we can get it started. Got it jumping off my car. Took the air filter cover and all that crap off. Hood right over there. Right over there. And there's all junk motors. And there's two other mowers. So we're going to see if we can start it. Key. I just put fresh gas in the tank, emptied it out, cleaned out the car. So we'll see what happens. Get a better connection here. Here we go. Pull the clutch in. See how fast it goes. Bit gear. tire, but other than that, all the other tires hold air. Definitely going to take off that governor because it's giving it trouble. So, uh, motor runs great. Got to definitely get new spark plugs for the thing. Some kind of nest happening up inside there. The uh, spark plug here, kind of blurry. Uh, the sh they're stripped. The uh, threads for it are stripped. So I'm getting a longer spark plug. These are the wrong spark plugs for this motor. The shaft for the spark plugs is like this long. These spark plugs are like that long. So those are the wrong spark plugs. Probably one of the reasons why it's backfiring so much. And the fact that the uh, muffler is completely rusted out on both sides. There's a big hole in it. But uh, yeah, this tire is trash. It's got a huge gaping hole in the side and on the top. So I'm gonna roll it. There it is. Nice huge hole. Um, I'm just gonna throw one of the old tires from the Murray or something on there. But I know these rear tires are going on the front, so heck. <laughs> Here's my lovely seat. Freaking rusted wrapped out. Yeah. It's a rear 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 gas tank. Uh, other than that, it just goes real slow. <laughs> Let's see how big this back pulley is. Flip it over. See the front engine pulley's not that big. I like the clutch design. I can't believe the belt's still holding up. The belt's cracked. Clutch design looks good. I wonder if the pulley turns at all. I don't think it's turning. No, that, that pulley's seized. That's why it won't turn. That's why I'm having belt clutch engagement problems. My brakes aren't working. That's probably why. Uh, the transmission pulley is freaking huge. So that's why it goes so slow. There's my gas line. It's hanging out. 
Yeah, so this thing definitely needs some work. And I'm definitely prepared to give it the work it needs. So that's that one. Let me show you the other mowers over here. There's the deck for it. It's huge. All the pulleys on it are seized. But uh, here is a snapper. Got this thing. All these for free. This stuff, the motors on the trailer, all this stuff for free. Pretty crazy. All I did was ask for it. And uh, this snapper has got a 12 horsepower on it. Flathead. But no steering. Yeah, that does a lot of good. <laughs> but it's, I don't even think it has a transmission, honestly. Let me just flip it real quick. Yeah, it has no transmission. It's got an axle. It's an axle with a differential built in. Wow. That's so lame. And it supposedly has five gears. I didn't think it did because I knew the way it shifted that. There's no way it had five gears. It just shifted so crappy. Here's your gear changer. It just engaged the belt tighter. <laughs> that is so lame. But hey, if it works, it works, you know? Shoot fire. So yeah, this one has no transmission, but it has a nice motor. A big old motor. Accidentally knocked the hood off. As you can see, it is not bolted on because it is broke. I get that to stay. There we go. So yeah, a little snapper. Piece of shit. And then we have a Lowe's tractor. Lowe's. Who knew? It even says Lowe's right there. Has a, or an 11 horsepower. Tiny little thing. Definitely gonna get swapped with this 12 horsepower on this snapper. I started it, it does run. And the transmission is a seven speed. Shift easily shifts easily right now, but when you've got it engaged, it sucks. But, uh, it's got flat tire. I tried to drive it, but the uh, rim is removed from the tire, and it is flat. So probably gonna have to put. Maybe I'll just put these tires on there for now. You never know. Something to get it going. I like to drive it around. I did start it, it does run, so that's a first, and then it's got a battery, unlike the tractor over there that didn't come with one, it's got a front gas tank, had a little uh, needle to tell you how much gas you had, cover of it broke off, but yeah we got tons of pulleys to do pulley swaps with now, tons of idler pulleys, idler pulleys. Wish I had a sprocket though, so I can make this thing go. But I'm thinking about changing it to a belt drive. Because I've got all this new prep to fool with. But, uh, let's go back over here to this thing. Uh, probably the first thing I want to do to it would be put all the shroud and everything. The first thing I want to do to it is get some spark plugs. Well, that can wait. But yeah. I guess we're going to put a new seat on it. This is probably one of the worst seats of all the other tractors. The other tractors are great. This seat sucks. I took the foam off because it was soaking wet and rotted. And this is what I got underneath. Holes in it. Everything. So, so let me do a little work on this real quick and I'll show you what I got done. We're getting there. Got a new seat on. Boating seat. And I turned my shocks around so they absorb more. Just got them screwed in half-assed because you can't bolt plastic. There's no bolt holes, just plastic. But it holds good and it absorbs a lot. It's kind of cushy. Nice cushy seat. <laughs> Definitely gotta raise the steering wheel though. It's too short. Gonna raise it. Probably about here. So I can't reach it. <laughs> too tall for it. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on putting these tires on the front and getting those car tires on the back. Alright, let me try this All real right. quick. 
Got front wheels on now. The rear tires and now the front tires. They're freaking huge. Huge front tires. So, uh, those look good. And I got the front tires on the back. What do you think? Those are going to stay. If the world explodes tomorrow. So, the tires going on there is going to be that one and that one sitting right there. Those suckers are going on the back. I'm going to put them on the back by using the hubs off the snapper's wheels. Because it has huge freaking hubs, and I didn't know that. So I'm going to take these things off and use them. Haha, <laughs> cheating. So yeah, so glad I got the snapper. I thought about leaving it, but I got it. So yeah, just give me a few more seconds and I'll get those put on. Alright, well, the uh, tires on the mower, I can have on the mudder, I mean, not a mower anymore, are going to have to wait because I cannot get the hubs off of that snapper's axle. They are rust welded. I've heated them with torch, sprayed JB Blaster in there, everything. Not JB Blaster, PB Blaster. I've, I've tried everything. Hit it with a crowbar, hammer, pry bar, everything. But uh, I cannot break the rust weld. So, we're going to have to cut some lawnmower wheels in half and do that all again. Like we did for the uh, Troy belt, which is around the corner. But uh, I did manage to get the front wheels mounted, so we got front wheels at least. But I'll show you these uh, snapper freaking hubs. They would have worked perfect, but I can't get the daggone things off. See these three bolts? It comes out like this much wider, and I could weld those into the uh, hole like this in the giant wheel I'm going to be using. But. I can't get the dang thing off. So, what I'm planning on doing is just cutting the center out of a wheel and leaving the center part and welding this part into the center of this wheel. Just welding along here. So that way, I put these suckers on the tractor. That's what we got. Okay. I can't even see it. Barely. This phone sucks in low light. So, uh, yeah. That's my dilemma. I'll try at it tomorrow. Later, guys.